Okay, right here, God is saying, and I'm going to go on with the reading, but God came to me and he told me, and guys, if you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would very much appreciate it. I will appreciate any and all donations as well. Again, guys, how I got inside this twin flame room, no one, I've been on this journey for two and a half years. I've been having my own YouTube channel in the Twin Flame Room for about 11 months to a year. I've been watching videos that other readers were doing, but I knew of my gifts. And I know that I'm an empath. I'm a light worker. I'm very intuitive. I'm a healer and so forth or whatever. But I'm a servant for the Lord. I started seeing 11, 11, two and a half years ago, right after I had got out of this really, really bad breakup. And the guy who I met up with or whatever, um, like me and his uh, telepathic, like it was so, you know, at first, I don't think he even knew that he even had that gift because you know, he's this guy or whatever, my divine masculine or whatever. And he's, uh, you know, he's went through a lot of things. And I, so, have I, so have I. And this guy or whatever, you know, he had been through so many relationships and heart had been broken and so forth. And mine was the same way. And we mirrored each other. And this man made me feel like never before. Like, oh my God, he could do things to me that no one else have ever done. And I was married in the past for 17 years. I mean, the pain and all this stuff that this guy would afflict up on me or whatever. Like he had things coming up out of me that no one have ever may come up out of me and I didn't even know him. We hadn't ever had sex. We hadn't ever met or anything. It was just all telepathic and we were communicating intuitive and, you know, um, praying for each other and um, healing each other and both of us or whatever. I don't even think he used, he would call himself a blind kid or whatever, you know. So he was spiritually walking blind spiritually walking blind I so to speak and so uh, whatever you know when I started seeing 11 11 and I ran into this guy and all these signs started coming up and I believe him to be even my past uh past life uh partner or whatever you know and he's my twin flame my soul Mate, I, I don't know. I think he's all of them because uh, the signs and all of that, he be adding up to, to be all of them or whatever. But now everything that he took me through and the way he made me feel like crap, like he's over there going through it. He broke my heart or whatever. And my heart was, all, nevertheless, my heart was already broken when I got to him. But his heart was broken too. He was damaged good and I was damaged goods. And, you know, um... But nevertheless, he, he treated me real harshly, and now he's facing the music. God says, touch not my anointing, do my prophets no harm, or whatever. And, you know, you're never really going to see a, a servant of God or whatever that God, uh, you know, that is being used by God. They're not too much going to be trying to tell people what they are, and I don't get a kick out of saying that very often or whatever, you know, I'm just a servant for the Lord and I'm led by him and I go where he tell me to go. No one ever told me that uh, it was a twin flame room or anything. Do you know that God, because I'm led by God and by the Holy Spirit, the, anoint, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the Father, Son, and the Spirit, God led me to the twin flame. I looked it up. I Googled it because I kept seeing 1111 and then I found it on YouTube or whatever. No one ever told me about it or anything or whatever. That's why I'm telling you guys or whatever. It's important. These connections are solely to do with God. God have brought you to this room or whatever, and he's trying to get you to come home. He's trying to get us to love ourselves. We have to love God first and then love ourselves and love 
everyone unconditional that's on this journey. Anyone that's your sister or brother, we're all connected spiritually or whatever. And you got gifts from God that is spiritually or whatever. And God is trying to get you to come home or whatever and love yourself and become whole or whatever. But you have to seek him and his kingdom first. You have to love God first. Or whatever, you know, this connection is not to do with the universe. The universe cannot do anything for us. God created the universe. This spiritual connection that uh, the real true twin flames are experiencing on the inside is solely been inserted by God. And he's trying to, he came one time and he, he, he tried to get us to answer the call and we ignored him, disobeyed and followed our own gods and our own ways and our own beliefs or whatever and choose not to go the way that he was trying to get us to go. He came a second time and people still refuse. And now he's here calling us a third time. That's why it's a great big batch of twin flames. Uh, it's a gr great big batch of uh, spiritual connected beings that are being called or whatever out of dry places and God is trying to get you to come out of dry places he's trying to get you to answer the call he's trying to get you to come back home to him or whatever and you know it's a lot of people that's on this journey is not a twin flame they're not connected uh, spiritually with the divine God is the divine and he operates this whole shebang and guys, I'm just telling you guys, I don't know what belief system. I don't know what these people are telling you guys. It's only one God, one son in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And if you are a real true twin flame counterpart, you are experiencing something that you have never experienced before. And that's God trying to get you to answer the call. You have to repent, go to him, repent, ask for forgiveness of your sins, ask him to come inside your heart. A lot of us already know who God is and we're ignoring the call and God, it, it, you're going to have a price to pay. I tell you that for sure. Well, Holy Spirit, Father God, I ask you to come in and give me a reading on where this karmic is at. Where is this karmic at, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus? Where is she at in her heart space? What is she doing? Uh, okay. Overall energy bottom of the deck is the emperor. Angel of Wisdom, um, Knight of Swords, uh, Drama, her and the Divine Masculine, I am taking it that he is standing in his Emperor power or whatever. He's trying to be a man of integrity, enlightenment, honor, and righteousness or whatever. And they're experiencing drama, him and her. Seven of Cups, Choices, uh, they got seven choices that they can take or whatever to get out of this connection and they're not trying to listen to the anointing of the holy ghost and god uh knight of pentacles trust they're experiencing trust issues there's no trust in that connection uh angel of hope the star card or whatever uh she's looking at whatever in uh um to me, it's the divine masculine. He don't, they're not trusting each other. And she's looking at him and she's considering herself angel of hope. Uh, she's wanting to shine bright like a diamond, like a star. She's feeling herself and it's an illusion. I, I gather or whatever, an angel of magic, the magician, uh, uh, divine masculine. He is not, you know, um, divine masculine is the magician angel of magic uh, standing in his power uh, not accepting this crap anymore and you know he's looking at her like real uh, like 
no, I'm not settling for this. We're not about to do this anymore. He's in his ma ma magis magician mode. Four of Swords healing. Uh, I gather uh, whatever. The uh, karmic is also healing. And the Divine Masculine is also from this whole situation. They're going through a healing process or whatever. Those tower moments is catching up with them. God is not having it anymore. He is uh, whatever she's going through from the tower moments and judgment. God is forcing both of them to heal their inner child wounds and their codependency. And uh, these uh, money addictions and alcohol addictions and all of that. God is forcing them and pushing them to heal them. And Eight of Wands journey. Uh, she's looking to, I think it's looking to try to move on and go on another journey. Eight of Wands, uh, she's one to, I think both of them is opening up and they're starting to see the light. God is coming to them, forcing them both to come up out of this low vibration that they're on and to get on to the spiritual journey. Nevertheless, whatever, uh, Divine Masculine, uh, he's experiencing a, a awakening and he's been healing before the karmic. And God is forcing him, but also from his uh, uh, spiritual growth or whatever, uh, it's also, it have jumped off onto the karmic and it is starting to make her, push her to start doing the right thing herself and heal her inner child wounds and get off of that low vibration and move on to the spiritual journey. Nevertheless, her partner isn't the partner that she's with. It's someone else. But God is forcing her to heal her situation. He's making her heal this or whatever so that she can move on and get with the person that onto the spiritual journey that and get with the person that's meant for her. That's meant for her. And that's all I have, God. Guys, God bless y'all. Have a great night. And if you don't mind, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.